वेलकम बैक माई फ्रेंड्स टू जे एस पी एन सर्वलेट बिगिनर टू एडवांस ट्यूटोरियल इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी कवर्ड हाउ टू यूज जे एस पी इनक्लूड पेज डिरेक्टिव इफ यू डिडेंट वॉज दैट एपिसोड चेक द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन और टॉप ऑफ आई बटन ऑल्सो यू कैन एक्सेस ऑल एपिसोड ऑफ जे एस पी एन सर्वलेट ट्यूटोरियल्स इन जे एस पी एन सर्वलेट बिगिनर टू एडवांस ट्यूटोरियल प्ले लिस्ट In this video I am going to cover the JSP implicit objects. Let's start the video. If you are new on my channel, don't forget to subscribe my channel and comment below. JSP implicit objects created by the container and directly available for use. These objects are available in the service method and you can use this objects using jsp scriptlet tag and expiration tag remember that you can't use it inside of jsp declaration tag because it's a written in class level there are total of 9 uh, implicit objects provided by the container first one is request object JSP request implicit object is an instance of uh, HTTP servlet request implementation. Uh, this object is available as an argument of uh, JSP service method. In scriptlet tag, we can directly use a request object, and also we can access this request object in our JSP servlet. in do get method do paste do post method uh, as like as uh, get the request headers request parameters attributes and content type there is one example inside the body tag i written a string param equal request dot get parameter and the string value and also request dot set attribute attribute and the value so the request parameter used to get uh, some form value and one by one we uh, go to the uh, deep of this uh, project and the response object it's also uh, an implicit object uh, of uh, instance of uh, java http servlet response implementation this object is also available as a argument of jsp service service method this uh, response uh, object used to set the response header redirecting request adding cookies encoding url etc here you can see an example of response dot in code url and the site name and also another example is response dot add cookie in parenthesis new cookie and the string value key and value third one is jsp session object it's an instance of java java x http session implementation you can get a session object from request object as well but container provides us this variable directly uh, using this session object we can control user uh, session uh, just like store remove retrieving of attributes and invalidating session it is here is an example session dot set attribute so attribute and the value and that means this value is only available in this session and session dot get attribute so the attribute we has been set we can get that attribute and also we can remove that attribute using session dot remove attribute then another is jsp out it's an instance of uh, jsp writer implementation it's used to output the content in client response in servlet we can get the print writer object using response object 
like response dot get writer but in JSP out variable is available directly for use so here is an example in expression language out dot println hello world and that I have already shown in the first video and also request dot get attribute this is, is a part of out object and here all the expression goes an as a as an argument to out dot println and uh, another one is gsp application this is an instance of uh, servlet context implementation and it's used to get the context information and attributes in gsp and here is an example is application dot get init parameter and then in the parenthesis the string is init parameter and application dot get request dispatcher and slash path next one is gsp config gsp config implicit objects is instance of java x servlet config implementation servlet config is available in servlet or jsp in servlet servlet config object can be created by get servlet config method but in jsp it is available as config object here is an example config dot get init parameter config dot get servlet name and the jsp page implicit object its instance of uh, java object class and represent the current JSP page. It's an example as like its work uh, uh, as the equivalent of this met this variable in Java and the JSP page context. JSP page context uh, implicit object is an instance of uh, Java X page context implementation and it holds the reference of other implicit objects. Uh, along with several methods like uh, page context defines fields are page scope request scope session scope and application scopes with the help of page context object we can store and remove attribute from any any of the four scopes so here is an example you can see that uh, page context dot set attribute attribute name and the value then page context dot set attribute attribute name value and then the page context dot request scope and the next uh, example is a page context dot attribute and the attribute and another is uh, the request scope and the next one is uh, also in a request scope and this one is this exception so this exception implicit object is an instance of uh, java language dot throwable class and used to provide exception details in JSP error case and I already shown that in last video in fourth video I think so you can check previous tutorial so this is defining the error page and pin the error in the stack trace all right friends as far as we learn more details about JSP implicit objects but uh, now I am going to show you the live example of JSP implicit objects. For that, I have to I am going back to my NetBeans ID. And now I am going to create a new JSP project. Then Java Web Web Application. And I'm going to name it JSP Tutorial. Next. And I'm going to make it finish okay our uh, page has been done and uh, i'm going to take this index page because uh, when i will run this project if i don't have any index page i will get a little error that's uh, not looks good so that's why i'm taking this index page and right click on web page and create a new jsp page and i'm going to name it implicit objects and finish and in this space, in this space, we are going to write all our implicit code 
for that i'm sorry i'm going to do a little copy paste from my previous project so going i'm going back to my jsp syntax and here i have one implicit objects jsp page and i'm going to just uh, copy it and paste it here it's okay don't worry i will explain one by one to you i'm going to save this all and in index.html page i'm going to link it we got a link here mm, i'm sorry okay this is oh and in implicit objects i'm going to just link it here and click in save change the browser and make it firefox and now i'm going to explain everything the first one is response object you can see that Response.getWriter. So that is uh, writing something in our JSP page using response.getWriter. So mm, this is the writer, a writer object. And another is the port number using the request object. So request.getLocalPort. And third one is the session uh, ID session session.getID. And this is the out object, JSP out object, so out.pintlen. Actually, this is the part of the response.getWriter. And, and this one is init parameter using application object, so application.getInit parameter. And another is the configuration object, so JSP config object, config.getInit parameter and the init parameter, my, my init parameter. And, and another is the class name using JSP page object. So page dot get class. This means it will return us this dot class. And here is the page context. So page context variable and the variable value and the session and the scope where we are going to define this page context. Only this request scope. And we are uh, we set that attribute and we are getting that attribute attribute value using the paste context. So paste context dot get attribute and here is the paste context variable. This is the variable and the scope and it will going to print out this uh, variable value. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can write a uh, paste context variable value. And I'm going to run it. Uh, oh, sorry, because uh, e here we didn't. Just uh, be implicit object. Going to refresh this page, and we can get the link. This implicit object. And here you can see that this is the response uh, object. Uh, uh, get writer and the port number and the session id and here we are getting something null and this uh, message getting printed using out object uh, and then mm, here is null to value using application object using config object it's uh, no problem i will show you that and uh, here is a class name using the paste context and the paste context variable value we said that in our JSP page and we are getting that value and how to solve this init parameter and uh, init parameter the object and application object and the config object so for that uh, I'm going back to my project and we have to go back our uh, web.xml file so then create there a new web.xml file um, standard deployment descriptor click on, click on next and finish and for that we are going to uh, set some object for our project and for that i am also doing a little copy paste from my previous project swift.xml file and i am just uh, copying those variable and paste it here so first one is uh, set the context parameter my context parameter and the message value and then 
in sublet the first one is the description about that sublet this is implicit object sublet and the sublet name and the jsp file and the, here i'm going to copy this name here implicit objects jsp file name and i'm going to paste it here and here also same thing is here so and this is the sublet and this is the sublet mapping and here init parameter i set the config parameters my init parameter and the init parameter is specific specific i'm going to save it and i'm going back to my browser and just refresh it boom we can see that we set that value in our web.xml file and we are getting that value in our JSP page. So context parameter are applicable for the whole application. Context parameter are applicable for whole application and the init parameter are J specific. And the init parameter are JSP specific. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you like this video please share it with your friends and if you are new on my channel do subscribe and don't miss any update from the next so see you in next video